Hey, what's up, guys? This is Caden and Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and this is Shovel Knight, the Hall Champion Achievement, and the Battletoads East Ray. And they say we don't make achievement guides anymore. Okay, so essentially this is a five gamer score achievement that leads directly to the Easter egg. Okay. So and I, I will admit, complete ignorance towards Shovel Knight. I watched Ryan play it today. I know Michael played it when it was, at, I guess it was on the PlayStation, maybe? Or was it on it's all, it was, uh, Steam? Uh, Steam, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you have to follow this little huh? hidden path here. It's kind of like Mega Man, kind of like Zelda 2 at the same time. Uh, you follow this hidden path, and man, platforming sucks. I'm terrible at this game. Yeah, I'm not the world's biggest platforming the fan. The entire uh, game is basically get treasure so you can get upgrades. There's a secret path right there, which leads you to this, and I assume on the PlayStation there's one right there as well for, okay. for Kratos, but this is for Battletoads because we're playing on the Xbox. So the egg is Kratos on the PlayStation and, and Battletoads on, on, the, on, the Xbox, on the Xbox because... Microsoft owns Rare now. Yeah, of course. So you do that, and now you have to kill all of the ghosts in this place, but you can't kill them with your shovel. You actually you have to, like, shoot this little ball at them, which is really annoying. The reason I showed you that is because then you have to fight a big giant ghost at the end. And this is all, is this like a like a normal boss fight or just something you unlock? This is something you kind of unlock. This is more of like a, you don't necessarily have to do it's this to beat thing. the game. Yeah, it's more of a, just a hidden extra thing that you can do. But if you want okay. the achievement, you got to do it. And I somehow took both of the, the glass little balls and combined them into one. I don't know how I did that, but it was a pain in the ass <laughs> to try and get it out. But this boss took me two tries. It's not really hard. It's just a matter of perseverance and just flicking it up. You can also yep. Yeah. You got to flick the, the ball up twice to get some extra height on it sometimes. That's what they used to call Gavin in high school, ball flicker. <laughs> yeah. It was like a thing he did all the time. I don't know. All right, so you pay 5,000 gold to get in here. Then she gives you a reward, and there's a ton of gold in here, so it replenishes your gold after that. But then you get an achievement, five gamer score for Hall Champion. Just five. Wow. Five gamer score is such a fuck you gamer score. Gavin just flicked my ball. Got me right in the... Oh, God, got me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. After you get out of there with the map, then it unlocks this little thing, and then you start... <laughs> You're right there, Jeff. Yeah, no, I'm good. You okay? Just plow through. <laughs> So all of a sudden, this little extra piece in the map shows up, and there's the Battletoads. <laughs> and they actually have the theme song going at the same time, but it's not just this. You don't just see them. If you agree to uh, their extra tr special training, okay. you get to fight all three of them in boss battles, which I'm going to show you. And uh, you say totally. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, well. <laughs> Shout out to the 90s. But uh, the boss battles aren't particularly tough. This is probably the most difficult because it's a lot like uh, level two of the original NES Battletoads, which okay. is just annoying. Yeah, Things yeah. try and cut your little cord all the time. I skip ahead here because it's a really long fight and it's just- It's cool, man. It's, I it's, understand. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a explain. whole thing. You beat them and that's just one of the, the three Then you gotta fight the other two. Yeah, those are rats with propellers with uh, scissors, Jeff. Uh, yeah, you know uh, yeah, as you do, of course. And then you go right onto the next one, but uh, about halfway through every- uh, Still feeling it. <laughs> halfway through every fight, for the first two, they just disappear and they make you go through part of what the normal level is in that level. Like this is a Turbo Tunnel. So this is a normal level in the game. This is no, this is normal level in Battletoads, and Turbo Tunnel is just as fucking hard as it was on the NES. Mm -hmm. I sped it up and I cut out all of my deaths. How, it is, uh, yeah, how long did it take you? It took me probably about 15 minutes, which is a lot considering most of the levels in this game can be beaten in about 10. Okay. So a lot of I think I died mostly on the next section, but it's more of, uh, they're, they're pretty lenient with checkpoints, unlike the original Turbo Tunnel, which is just mean. This one screwed me up a lot because it makes you want to jump when you shouldn't. There's this little blue guy right there. Don't jump until after him, okay. because otherwise you'll hit right into the, to the wall. Then you do this little bit right here. Just well, you zigzag. look all in. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. You got, uh, you got the yeah, last yeah. half of this. They get refilled health bars, ah. which is Bullshit because you don't. Yeah, that so if, sucks. If you uh, if you fuck up, then you got to go back to the checkpoint. Doesn't this game have an achievement to beat the game without dying? Uh, yes, it does. And not another not, one. Another not gonna one get to that. Beat the game without updating upgrading your health at all. I believe so. Yeah, I'm not gonna do rough. that either. That Ori too, and the Blind Forest have have those two achievements as well. It's like fuck you. This is I think this is Rash, the last guy you fight, and uh, find out that uh, you can't use magic on him. Can't use magic on him at all. And he can magic summon. Magic is a big component of the. Uh, game? For some of the, some of the things, I mean, it okay. makes a lot of bosses easier. But uh, he can summon the other two battle toads to help him. Of course. But once you beat him, that's it, and uh, you can unlock uh, special armor and special upgrades. Is it worth it? 
Uh, yeah, you can dash with the armor, and uh, all of your uh, normal attacks get a big boost. Just like, you know how when the battle toads do the extra big punch, their hand gets really big yeah, and yeah, it turns yeah, into yeah. an anvil. Now you can do that. Oh, that's awesome! And uh, it, it's really cool. There's a there's how early on in the game is this? Uh, this is just after you beat uh, Plague Knight, which <laughs> is means absolutely nothing to me. It's uh, probably about halfway through the game. So it makes the second half of the game a hell of a lot easier. It makes it a lot easier. I mean, I've been going back and using the, the dash ability and the, the smash ability to get gold a lot easier, which allows me to upgrade faster, okay. which is significantly awesome, especially because it looks... It, okay, you put it on, you look like one of the battle toads, okay. which is great. That's awesome. But then once you get it on, then you can talk to uh, Rash. I believe it's Rash. And, yep, it is Rash. And he says, hey, you want to pose with us? And then it does the intro thing. And then there you, there you are. <laughs> and it's got the theme song for Battletoads playing in the background. Really fun little Easter egg. Extra bosses. Really cool. Yeah, that's pretty fantastic. <laughs>